in today's episode it's arguably one of the best episodes ever of rock and roll english but arguably also one of the worst because i spoke to the hellraiser in a car i thought this would be a good idea as the hellraiser says in the podcast push the envelope like really pushing the boundaries to see what is possible in the podcasting world now as you can imagine the quality of the audio is not so good not so good at all really it starts off okay it unfortunately gets progressively worse because the car was moving faster but i challenge you to listen and understand because it is a really entertaining podcast i am my own worst critic i know if it's a good podcast or no i have listened to it i think it's a great podcast but it will be very difficult to understand so if you are listening to this for example on the bus you're going to have a lot of difficulty. If you are on the train or at the gym, you basically need to sit down with a good pair of headphones and listen carefully. Now, remember, if you are in the Rock and Roll English family, you also have the transcript to this episode. So you can read and listen at the same time, which probably wouldn't be such a bad idea. But just to give people some background information about it so maybe you can follow the story because if if at least you can follow more or less what's going on you'll be fine so i went to pick the hellraiser up at the airport stansted airport which is about 30 minutes from my house and there was a bit of a problem with the car park okay of where the hellraiser was and where to pick him up you will find out more about that one other thing actually i had to use this audio because you will find out why in the podcast but there's no way i couldn't have used this because i have made podcasts in the past that have just gone to the bin because the audio wasn't so good but this one i thought no i have to use it we also talk about the smell of my car okay that's another big thing there's a story about one time the hellraiser tried to drive a car when he was young and trying to drive my car also a story about when i picked boom boom up from the airport once had a very different experience believe me and we also then towards the end talk about the hellraiser's importance to rock and roll english and then he finds my notes which I had prepared before we came and we start talking something about that. That probably doesn't make much sense, but if you listen to the podcast, hopefully it will make more sense. So, here is the episode I will talk through at the end for some vocabulary and there is some amazing amazing vocabulary and lots of it. So, I will talk to you all again at the end. Quickly on the point of vocabulary, if you haven't already, please take part in my 14-day vocabulary challenge for lazy people okay it's designed for lazy or busy people that have no time to study it's totally free you will improve your vocabulary absolute fact all you need to do is listen to some podcasts but if you're interested click the link inside the podcast you are listening to right now so yes i will talk to you all at the end happy listening well at the fun start We've missed the best bit already. The fun started a long time ago. So you're really going to hold it, yeah? <laughs> Why not? I'm I'm a good driver, Henry. Right, did you did you burger. say that you wanted to get me a, a burger for? I have fucking for spent enough money already tonight. So for we, the listeners, I'm picking the Hellraiser up from the airport. Normally cost seven pounds, which already was was a blow. I must worth admit. it. Worth it. Um, the hell the Hellraiser went to a different place to get picked up, and that place cost ten pounds. So I had to pay for both. So I paid seventeen pounds. But let's let's back up some somewhat. You've missed some pretty big holes in this story. The first one is that I'd already sent you my location. Yeah. Okay. Well, and no, you drove in, to a different was, location, and then we just have to. The really important thing is that it was free for 30 minutes and you voluntarily paid <laughs> £10. I definitely didn't. So, um, now, so in, now, I, now I haven't got my burger and <laughs> you have spent £17 voluntarily. So in response to what you just said, number one, you're sending me messages 
I was driving. I can't be and reading. You were, and you were thirty minutes, nearly thirty minutes late. Hmm. I don't think that. Long. You told me. I think next you time. You said I'm, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go with uh, Mother Hellraiser. <laughs> I, I'm fucking not picking you up again. Paying seventeen pounds. Well, let's look at the quality of this podcast. I mean, <laughs> I was I was all really pumped for this. I thought, fuck, we're pushing the envelope now. We're doing a podcast in a car. This yeah. is late this night. Is, this is wild. You're driving with one hand. This could be our black box. This could be. <laughs> This could be our obituary. We should make it good. It, it bloody well better be good. I paid seventeen pound. I'm driving at eleven o'clock at night, and I'm hungry. I mean, I, mean, I was thinking, I mean, what look, a, what a mate I am, right. because, I mean, I'm picking you up at eleven o'clock at night. I don't believe that Mother Hellraiser would have wanted to pick you up. I very much believe she would have made you get the bus. She would have been at the arrivals with a sign and. And a burger <laughs> in the other hand. I don't. I don't think that's true. I think you'd have been on the Stansted Express right now, um, which could have been more comfortable. I mean, I'm, we're sitting in a tin can. There's, hey, don't don't diss the car. Pepper Pig toys <laughs> in my regions. Yeah. Okay. It smelled quite strongly of farts. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I was thinking because I, I have been farting a lot in the way. Yeah. And what, what kind of service is this? And you're all over <laughs> and, the road. And I was thinking, I wonder if he's going to pick that up. Um, and so not only that, so the Hellraiser's texting me, I'm here, I'm there, trying to find him, paying more money every second. I then go to pay, and then I'm walking out from where I paid, and I can just see the Hellraiser driving off with my car. <laughs> Yeah, just wanted to put it through his motions. <laughs> Give it a test drive before uh, before this. You know what? That actually remind reminded me of. I think it was maybe the maybe the first time I actually went to a nightclub. We went to Zeus in Chelmsford, and your auntie worked there. Yeah. And at the end of the night, she was giving us a lift home, and we were waiting in her car, and we were only like sixteen. And then you said you were going to drive it while she was like, she had to go back in to get something, probably like forgot her coat or something. And then you said, I'm going to drive her car. And you obviously didn't know how to drive. And you were just <laughs> stalling the car. So stalling the car, if people don't know, is when people that don't know how to drive try to drive and the car just goes like, Duh. Um, and but then I was thinking now he does know how to drive and yep. he is actually more, driving off with my car more dangerous yeah more dangerous exactly but the thing about what the Hellraiser said voluntarily paying mm-hmm. we're mm-hmm. still not 100% sure about that 100% that's so, why I, said, I wanted to say well, I, 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 know, I, had I know to, you're a struggling teacher so I had to get a ticket I had to get a ticket but you didn't have to pay so I, I went in I entered the car park I had to get a ticket it said zero to thirty minutes, ten pounds. Ten pounds. So free. So then, okay. When I put my ticket in the machine, then I'd only been in the car park three minutes. Why did it make me pay ten pounds? You don't need to get. You don't need to pay. You don't need to put the ticket in. You voluntarily you put, gave them a donation, <laughs> which is quite nice. It's uh, it's a small airport. Uh, don't worry about it. Let, let's move on. I mean, we're here now. It's not bad it's not good but it's not bad <laughs> i'm hungry it smells a bit like farts you're not really driving very properly um, um it is late i'm a bit tired I, we could just call it a day i you know what? Right, bef- we've got no material well before i came out because it's so late normally i'm in bed by this time i thought i'm gonna have some digestive biscuits oh wow and i must admit I've been, I've, trying, I've been trying to cut back on biscuits recently, mm. and yeah. I think my stump, my body is now just just says no to them, and it's had a bad reaction. So on the way up here, I must admit there were quite a few farts. You need to be careful <laughs> on biscuits, the the devil's crumbs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I so say, you know what though, you said no material because we are getting towards the end of our hilarious airport incidents oh by the way one other thing actually one 
other thing to explore there was one of the messages you sent me I had my ear pods in so I could call you safe, safely whilst driving yeah and more safety than now when you're driving one hand <laughs> with a microphone in front of you mm. but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm all for living on the edge carry on and it came through on my ear thing as I was listening to a podcast about football about Gabby of Bonglahore if you're interested um, <laughs> <laughs> I am now. Uh, it came through, uh, the Hellraiser sent you a message which says, is that you in the Mercedes? <laughs> Do I look like a fucking person that drives a Mercedes? It, it was just a, a, a really old lady with wiry hair and a big nose. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't you at all, on closer inspection. <laughs> is that you in the Mercedes? There was a couple of times I thought it might have been you, you know, in various cars, like some quite hairy guys driving past with loud Craig David music. <laughs> But it wasn't. Yeah, that that's, you, you were thirty minutes late in the wrong car. Park. That's how I used to drive when I was seventeen. I don't really drive like that anymore. In fact, my um, stereo it's, it's this one, isn't it? Is this it? Is this the left? This, no, no, it's not this one. It's not this no, one. Next that's, one. A, that's a truck stop. We yeah. only get into truck stop <laughs> no. now. Um, get into dogging. My yeah, dogging. Do you want to explain that one, Hellraiser? I mean, does that really happen? From what I know, it's yes. you go into a car park and you flash the lights and that means you want to have sex with the person. What, two two young, handsome, agile guys like us pulling into a, a truck stop? <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's, we know what's going to end. We know, we know how that's going to end. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Um, where were we before, though? I had well, something really, to, really we are interesting on the right road. to say. We are on the right road. No, but before we got to the road. I'm, I, if you can't remember that, I'm quite surprised that you have a car I thought that you would be oh, having that's it. A, like a chariot with the kid, two kids in the back mm. you and I you know Cesar what and I, front, like a tandem, the more, tandem chariot the older I get the more I hate cars I just just fuck them like fuck cars fuck cars I'm, I go everywhere on the bike I never get in the car these days up your exhaust um, you know a bike you know it's it's good for the environment it's free it's good for you health the car yeah. is the opposite of all of that. That is true. Are you stopping talking because we're approaching a roundabout? <laughs> Need two hands for the roundabout. <laughs> probably. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Probably we'll get arrested um, when this podcast. That would just. Goes le- out. If you do, just leave the microphones, and we'll just ha- we'll just document the whole thing. No, I was thinking when if a policeman listens to the podcast. Um, that's probably not a good Do you think thing. we've got um, old Bill learning English? <laughs> old Bill. <laughs> very, very slang term there, people, just to talk about the police, by the way. Um, I guess someone could hand this in as evidence. Yeah, well, exactly that. I mean, we're all, this is just a simulation, guys. We're <laughs> messing around. Mm. Um, <laughs> and also, when you said I was late, you, you specifically said to me, drive slowly. Yeah. So basically saying take your time yep. and then I also thought you told me you had extra bags so I thought right he's going to take bloody ages but well, I fully expected you as well to like to get your burger when you were there I was expecting one <laughs> well you expected me to bring you one you said you donated got... that to um, the airport I, I honestly can't believe it's cost me £17 to pick you up yeah but we're having a good time can you put a price on that, <laughs> really? You've seen your old mate. Yeah, this is this is the first time anyone has picked me up from the airport. Because, um, oh, oh, okay. Four beams. Four beams are the, the lights, the strong ones. Um, because, obviously, the Hellraiser is difficult to track down. Basically, the only way to find him these days is if you go and pick him up from the airport. And even then, it's not easy, because he goes out the wrong entrance. <laughs> I still don't... Why would you go out of that one? You go out the front entrance the main entrance well I um, did it because it's free and then you paid for it it's not free it's 10 pounds <laughs> my car park was seven pounds you made me pay for both of them well when you drop me off uh we can check it in the daylight when I on the return well, I'm not I'm not going back yeah come on we have to finish it <laughs> if we're we again. can't just do half a trip <laughs> um uh, what were we talking about again now I've got, I've got sidetracked again You'd be talking about losing seventeen pounds for <laughs> the majority of this uh, exchange. But I mean, can you actually believe I am picking you up 
not from happy the airport. About it. Oh, that was it because um, I was saying how it's difficult to track down the Hellraiser. You know, he's he, let's let's speak truths. He uh, he's a big name on the podcast. Wanted to get him get him on for a while, but as I said, not easy to track down. So I tried to tempt him with a ten pound Amazon voucher, thinking, you know, that that's a lot. Ten pound Amazon voucher. It's cost me seventeen pounds plus petrol money, plus the ten pound voucher, plus time, the, the, plus the, the, the time. I'll be going good. to bed till midnight, <laughs> and I'll be absolutely knackered tomorrow. The kids will be waking me up at fucking half five. Oh, I've, I mean, you know, I've got to go, go to work tomorrow. But so is that true? Yeah, in a way. <laughs> in a way, sure. Um, are you going to be waking up at half five? Why would I wake up? Oh, we could go for a run in the morning if you want. I might be walking around with baby R and I in a pram, hoping he'll go back to sleep. Probably not running though. F- fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, somewhere in this car, I also have a piece of paper um, where I jotted down some notes in case we run out of material, <laughs> which I fully expected we would. Do you want to have a look around for that? Yeah. Do you want to have a little rummage? I'd love it. I'd love one. Are you, are you actually doing it? Because you've just got your phone. looks like you're just... No, I'm just texting Opening now. Instagram now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm... You don't look like you're looking for that piece of paper very much. <laughs> oh, I've got, you've got your torch on. Yeah. I'll tell you what we could do. We could listen to my stereo, which I haven't... And we could listen to Frozen to let it go. Okay. CDs, because that's all we've got. Oh, that is... I mean, that's... As you can see, don't, don't spend that... a lot of money on the car. Definitely wasn't... It's a lot of a Mercedes. It's a lot of like umbrellas and things in here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lots so of kids ju- stuff. Let me give you a prompt. Yes, Ambulance. So- oh yeah, yeah. So um- nose broke. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> you don't don't read out all the oh, notes. Oh, so yeah, all right, all right, all right. Fuck. Okay. I didn't know it was a secret. They're, they're in I thought we were supposed to be reading. So them. the first one. What does it say? What's the title of that section? I think. Be nose broken. A family podcast. That stuff we're going to talk about <laughs> later, which is not safe for the, the normal one. Okay. So, do you? You want to start from the top? No. I tell you what, broke. as well. If, the, if this audio doesn't come out, <laughs> I I would. Oh, are you, would are you, be... Where's your mic? Is it? My you, mic's in here, mate. Like, I'll be fucking fuming if this doesn't come out. <laughs> but I thought that it wasn't. You weren't just picking me up for the podcast. I thought you were picking me up because you you wanted to see me. Also. Yeah. Also, so, um, I mean, and also my a, also so it's my win-win. way. It's win-win, isn't it? Win-win, sure. Also, my way of showing you, I appreciate you giving up your time for me hey. and for us, the rock and rollers. And I definitely appre- true. I appreciate having the um, invite on the on the show. I feel like I feel like things are a bit tense at the moment, <laughs> but I know in my heart if, that we can. If if this podcast comes out, or I think I've turned up the volume on the stereo. Um, if this podcast comes out, it yeah. could be an all-time classic. Um, but could do. You're, you're driving really slowly as well. <laughs> it's a 40 area Hellraiser. Okay, you're I'm going at 39. At yeah, I'm you, going you, at 39. You just put your foot on the accelerator. <laughs> oh, we're going at 39. In fact, it's actually a 30 speed limit, so now we're going to slow down. We've already, we've already said that I'm driving with one hand. Yeah, but this is a simulation. So if there are any law enforcement <laughs> simulation. listening to this then this is all just a bit of a joke. Sure. Um, but yeah, to show my appreciation, I thought I'd pick yeah, you up. Yeah, and, sure. you know, that, that's me. Is it, You're part of the R&R team. Well, right, sometimes it doesn't feel like it, you know? <laughs> sometimes it feels like I'm, I'm fighting my own battles and, you know, you're, no, you, you, you're not supporting me. You I'm are, not on your shoulders. You're part of the team. Obviously, I'm the leader of the team and I need to try and keep morale happy. I've also picked Boom Boom up from the airport, but Boom Boom what went out the, the right, hell? we went out so the- So this is the second time you've done this. Yeah, but two things to know. Boom Boom went out the correct exit. Same so airport. Same airport. He went out the correct He's exit. He's such a dick. So I only paid seven pounds for him and there was no problem <laughs> at all. It was just see you out the front. Yup, okay, saw him, paid only seven pounds. I put money on it that that was a boring podcast. Or we, did, well, we didn't, didn't actually record, record. We well, I mean, what's we the did. point then well we came with Mrs Boom Boom it so I mean been, you only come to pick me up when there's a podcast in the, no, as a carrot I, for you is not, that it? not true <laughs> um, because I thought at this one could, point this could be my resignation <laughs> I thought Mrs El Razor was here as well and I thought well that's the that's the podcast what, out my, the window my wife um, I 
partner. Um, so I thought, well, that's the podcast out the window, but I was still going to come and pick you up. This is just a bonus. You know what? I thought, kill two birds with one stone. I'm a busy man, Hellraiser. I've got two jobs, two kids, got lots going on, okay? I know, you haven't got you haven't got time for my, my BS. Um, so, but, um, yeah, so no, keep well, the anyway, morale happy. If, you know, we can circle back. I'm happy to be here. Okay. And, well, uh, you, you can put, as, you, as can, a, you can splice this bit at the front of the podcast, <laughs> so as, we can start off on a on a high note. Sure. As long as this podcast comes, I'll be happy as well. It'll be worth the seventeen pounds. But I am very worried about this audio. I'm worried that I'm like holding, putting my finger over the part where. Let's just let's just ride the wave, baby. Yeah. We, you know, we're we're already riding it. Yeah. So yeah, but that rave, just, that wave. Sorry, that, <laughs> that's, I can't even speak. Yeah, that wave will come crashing down extremely heavily if the audio is bad, because if it's one of those podcasts which I have created in the past which you can't use, there is nothing worse in the world. Um, There's a lot going on in the world at the moment, but <laughs> in, it's in a my bad thing. in my pathetic world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you said that. Yeah, just to clarify, yeah. yeah. Um, so, are we going to move on to the my notes? Oh, I'd love got? to. Um, should I start from the top? It's from the top. Nose broke. Yeah. Underlined I... twice. <laughs> I think <laughs> I did mention this to you, that um, baby R&R um, broke my nose and I, <laughs> I ended, up, ended up in hospital. So... <laughs> fucking kidding. Nah. <laughs> Serious, mate. Had to have had to have a day off work, and uh, they also <laughs> told me that I was concussed. <laughs> so we are going to stop today's podcast there, and the story of when Baby R and R broke my nose quite recently will be continued in the Rock and Roll English family area. So if you would like to listen to the rest of the episode and more than 1,000 extra exclusive episodes, also with transcripts, then go to rockandrollenglish.com, then click become a member. So let's have a look at some of the vocabulary from today. And there was a lot. We had at the beginning, the Hellraiser said there were lots of holes in my story about me saying how I paid for the car park. So if there are holes in your story, there are things that you're not saying. And he also mentioned he was really pumped for this podcast, so really excited for it. I mentioned at the beginning how he said we're pushing the envelope, like pushing the boundaries. And I also said to the Hellraiser, don't diss my car. So don't speak badly about my car. I mentioned how the Hellraiser stalled his aunt's car, his auntie's car. So when you stall a car, it's when you kind of go boop and the car switches off and you have to switch it on again. Always embarrassing. The Hellraiser then said, I think we should just call it a day because we've got no material. So call it a day means to say, right, that's it for today. No more. I also mentioned how I have been trying to cut back on biscuits. So if you cut back on something, you reduce the amount usually or something that you eat or drink or smoke. <laughs> um, the Hellraiser mentioned the police and referred to them as the old bill, which is a very slang term here in the UK to talk about the police. He also spoke about full beams. So full beams, sorry, I spoke about that, is when you're driving at night and you have the lights, but then you have the super lights, let's say. We often call them full beams. And I kept getting sidetracked when we were talking. So when you get sidetracked, you're talking about something, then you're talking about something completely different. I also mentioned how I had a piece of paper where I jotted down some notes. So to jot down is a lovely term to say, just write a few kind of informal notes. And the Hellraiser was looking for it. And I said, do you want to have a little rummage? So to rummage means we use this, especially when you're looking for something especially looking in a bag. We often use this to say rum, rummaging through a bag. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've managed to understand something. I will talk to you all very soon, people. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby.
Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.